I remember one of my favorite pastors in the sermon one time, he said uh, that a guy came up to him after a, a sermon they had talked about tithing. And he said, I, you know, do you have any idea how much 10% of my income is? And he said, he looked at the guy and he said, well, yeah, I understand. And, and so I'm going to pray and I'm going to pray for your business and your income to decrease to the amount that makes you comfortable. <laughs> yeah tithing 10 percent <laughs> and the thing is there, there are people that are listening to this right now or watching this right now and you know they may not be someone that goes to church they not be may not be someone that has a relationship with god and there have been times in my life where i've gotten pushback from from other people even within the church in regards to giving in regards to tithing and how it's you know actually the old testament and this and that and it actually meant this and and, and I would always just respond, that's fine. Yeah, It's just something that I'm going to do. And my question to them is always, tell me a little bit about your process for giving on a regular basis to whatever you feel is important to give to. Radical generosity is one of the pillars of our company. The act of giving ultimately shows gratitude for what has been given to you but it also shows that you're in a place, that you're in a mental state of abundance because you know that exactly like Neil uh, Elliott just said, scarcity is not a good place to operate, that you know that if you are operating in a place of abundance, that by giving, you know, you know that there is more coming your way. Those same seeds that you're sowing by giving are going to reap rewards and there will be a harvest. And I think when you are tying both of those two ideas together, both of those definitions of sowing and reaping together, where there is hard work being put in on a regular basis, but simultaneously there is proactive and there is purpose filled giving while sowing those seeds of hard work, then the harvest is going to be that much greater. And one thing to that for me that's specifically important about giving, and, and when I say giving, I'm talking about like giving financially, whether it's like actual money or by yep. doing something for someone that costs money, is it it flips a switch in your brain and it creates a environment of abundance. Because if you're able to give, that means you are telling yourself, I have enough and there is overflow of what I have mm -hmm. to be able to give to somebody else. Versus when you store everything and you keep everything yeah. to yourself, that is a lack mentality. That is a, there's not enough oh, for everyone. There's crap. not enough for everyone. So have for, every, for everywhere or everything or everything that I want to do. So I got to keep it all and I need to hoard it all because yeah, I don't know if there's going to be something else down the road. Right. But just the simple act of giving tells yourself subconsciously that you have plenty, that there is plenty more coming where that's that right. came from, yep. and that there is so much so that you have the ability to go and let that overflow into other people. It shows where your values are, and it shows your level of importance that you put on things. And you know whether that's someone giving to the church or whether that's someone giving to an organization that they feel you know strongly about, the question is, do you have a process put in place for you to be able to do that on a regular basis to where it becomes almost unconscious?